The Niners run game. I mean, if you look at the numbers, it's good. Yards per carry. But we've watched all the carries, and we know it's based off of a few long runs. There's been a lot of negative carries and a lot of stuff stuffed at the line of scrimmage. From your expert analysis and observations, what is going on with the Niners run game right now? What is the biggest problem they have? If, they're, if they have a biggest problem. I just don't see, I don't see them getting very much push uh, at the line at the point of attack, especially with Brunskill. It seems like he's always working laterally. He's getting basically stopped right there. He's not moving his man off the spot. I mm-hmm. uh, see that a lot, really out of everybody. And it just doesn't seem to be hitting on, on all cylinders. You know, you go look at the first, the, the first game of the season, they're on the goal line. They have a, you know, they run that play. And one of the main reasons it doesn't work is because the Trent Williams and Brunskill, you know, they, their shoulder pads collide, which knocks Brunskill off his track. He's not able to get there and make the block. It's just mm-hmm. a lot of little things like that. And with, with Brunskill playing center throughout all of, all of camp, uh, I just don't think that that front has, has been able to gel yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's right on the money. Point of attack, especially a perfect example of that goal line play. It's like, where was the, those guys didn't get any push or any bulliness. I'm not seeing the same like quickness or the same like explosiveness. And I feel like it's a little bit expected because of how much musical chairs we saw in training camp. Granted, an offensive line just between Cronus, Daniel, everywhere. So this guy never got to settle in. So, I mean, it kind of figures, I think it's going to be interesting to see how it's going to be after week four or five to see how much. Brunskill really gets starts to get comfortable or should get comfortable by then. It's good that Garland's now back there to hopefully bring us some solidification, but he too missed all the training camp. And so it's just it's just a lot of hopefully for their sake, getting the cobwebs off, dusting the rust, because the run game is important and controlling the time position is so key for this offense to make that defense even more efficient with the missing players. Um, it's just it's so long as they if they can get that rust knocked off, which you hope it's rust. Then they should hope they should get back to where they were last year. Okay. So what I'm noticing is the timing of the point of attack. Uh, like Jose said, it's the, the chemistry is not really there yet. And then when you have a shortened off season, no preseason, it's hard to just pick that up week one. Uh, on the goal play against Arizona, uh, Brunskill was late. He ran into Trent Williams, and that kind of just up, upset the timing of the play. And that's been the narrative. This first three weeks of the season so once they get their timing back on the point of attack not just attacking um getting that true timing down that's when you're going to see this running game getting to it, its potential i agree that it's mostly an offensive line issue i don't think it's a kittle issue kittle's their best blocker and he hasn't played much except for the first half of the first game but from what i've seen dwelly's pl- blocked well he hasn't been a, a liability he's actually been moving his guy which mm-hmm. is surprising it's been the offensive line. Garland's been bad. Brunskill's been bad. McGlinchey's been Glinchy. bad. And I think w- for a run game that's as intricate as the Niners is, they really need a full offseason and a full preseason. So this is probably to be expected, especially since Brunskill was playing center the whole time. These guys are out of position. But I think we can't overlook the running backs. They don't have Raheem Mostert. And to me, what I saw, Jerick McKinnon is, aver- is averaging seven yards a carry. That's extremely ex- impressive. But he's not – the, the best option on first and 10. He just doesn't have ter- very good vision. He doesn't hit the hole very hard. He's an excellent third down back. He's an excellent receiver out of the backfield. A hell of a player. And it looks like he's come back, but I think there's a real downgrade from Raheem Mostert to Jarek McKinnon on first and 10 because McK- Mostert just runs harder. So even if there's nothing there, Mostert's going to get a little bit more, in my opinion, than McKinnon does. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. I saw it against the Giants. And McKinnon looked slow, like if he was half speed again in the hole. Just thinking than, about it. Uh, yeah, I'm watching that game. I'm like, that's Raheem Mostert. That's 10 yards every time. But with McKinnon, it was more of a two, three yards per carry. Final th- thing on this topic, I would like to see more of Jermichael Hasty. I, I, yes. I, was, I was impressed with him during the game. And then when I watched uh, the, the coach's tape, what he did on both of his carries was try to bounce the run outside, which I don't know if Shanahan likes. I think he wants his guy to get upfield, one cut and get upfield. But still, he's very electric. He runs harder than, than Jerick McKinnon right now. McKinnon's a good third down back, and he's effective. But on first down, I want a guy who runs full speed into the line no matter what. And it seemed like Hasty have, has that. So I'd like to see him. Hopefully they give him some carries. But to be honest, the 49ers probably don't want anyone to see any more hasty as <laughs> Jennifer Lee Chan reported earlier this week that the 49ers asked her to not post anything on hasty during the off season. Um, that's what really? she said in her report. Yeah. So. If- and she did it. She should have wrote about him every day. What was she thinking? 
<laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, I wrote about him. <laughs> did, they pay her? did they pay her? I don't. I don't know. Hey, that's all right. <laughs> okay. Interview. Jeez, I, I would need a little kickback from the Niners for oh, to, yeah. to, to, to give him a favor like that. I don't know. I'm not on your payroll, bro. <laughs>